Um, we are now going to look at two different notations. So you should have a little bit of space on the right here on the edge of your paper. Um, you're going to look at, um, let's do interval, interval notation, and also set. All right, so interval and set. So we're going to look at two different notations. Um, the biggest thing to realize is the numbers are the same. Um, the only thing that you need to remember is, and we're going to write these notes at the bottom. So we should have a lot of space at the bottom. Go to the bottom real quick. All right, parentheses does not include. Include. All right, and bracket includes. And then we're going to go over here and do the same thing. When you're doing inequalities, this or this does not include. This or this includes. So really what it is is that equal sign at the bottom is like a bracket. This non-equal sign at the bottom is like a parenthesis. All right, that's the major difference that you need to know with between um, interval notation and set notation. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to go ahead and put the function back into the calculator so we can have it. Here's a graph from left to right. So all the way to the left, you see there's a graph here, and if I zoom out, it keeps going to the left. If I keep zooming out, I'm at negative 100, um, I'm at negative 800. You can see it goes on forever because it does. So all the way on the left, there's a graph, and then domain is left to right, so all the way on the right, there's also a graph. We've already written the notes as to domain is left to right, but we're just gonna write it again. So we're looking at x values left, to right. All right, so I need the number completely on the x-axis on the left. So as you can see, as I zoom out, the number completely on the left where there is a graph, I mean, it just go, keeps going. I'm at negative 50,000 right now. I'm at negative, what is this, 100,000. I'm at negative 300,000, and I could do this forever. So if I keep going to the left forever, what is that number? Negative a million? No. Bigger than that. Negative a billion? No. Bigger than that. Negative infinity. So it's going to be negative infinity is my left number. Okay. And we're going to do the same thing on both. So on interval and on set, negative infinity. But notice on the set one, I didn't write a comma. All right. And then what is the value on the right? So I'm going from the left to the right. So this time, instead of going to the left of the x-axis, I'm going to the right of the x-axis. And as I go to the right of the x-axis, you can see there is a graph at, what is this, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, one million, there's a graph already. All right, so when I go to one million, one billion, on the right-hand side, on the right of x, there is a graph, there exists a graph. So what is that number? What is the biggest number you can think of? Well, you're gonna be thinking of that number forever, it is infinity, all right? so. From negative infinity to positive infinity, x values on the left for this uh, function is negative infinity, x values on the right is positive infinity. For interval notation, all right, so again, parentheses does not include. That's what you need to realize, okay? So parentheses does not include. Now, because infinity is technically not a number, it is a representation of a very big number or a very small number. If it's negative, you cannot include infinity. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put those in parentheses. And that's how you'd write domain for interval notation. For set notation, it's very similar. You're gonna write the two numbers, negative infinity and infinity. So regardless of what they give you, you're just looking for the two numbers, left and right, all right? And then you're gonna put an X in between it and then you're gonna put less than, like that, right? Less than, less than. And then you're not going to put lines underneath because remember, lines underneath, according to our definition, includes that number, right? So includes with the lines underneath, doesn't include no lines underneath. And we just discussed how infinity is not a number, so it does not include. So now we've looked at domain for interval and for set notation. What is the domain? Let me start at the bottom for the cube root function. So again, to get the cube root function, click the, the keyboard, click functions here, scroll all the way to the bottom, you'll see this. And I want it cubed, so I'm gonna say that, root, and then x. All right, so it looks like an S, if you notice, it looks like an S. All right, so what is the furthest I can go to the left where there's still a graph, right? So look, I keep going left. I'm at negative 300, I'm at negative 800. Oh my gosh, I'm going forever, which means what is that? Negative infinity. All right, so for um, 
the s function or for the cube root my domain in interval notation negative infinity right? yeah in set notation is also negative infinity so you always start with the number on the left now i'm looking for the number on the right i'm gonna click home and the number on the right i'm gonna keep going see i'm going on the right of the x-axis right and i'm keep zooming out moving to the right oh my gosh this number this graph is going on for ever so that's going to also be infinity all right it's it's infinity but for both so we're writing two notations all right because infinity is not a number it's going to be an interval notation parentheses and then in set notation remember you put an x less than less than and you just don't put the um, equal thing underneath it all right let me do another one so let's do one let's do the one that says square root so i'll press home right here come over here and I guess I have to type in square root of x. All right, so it looks like this, all right? So again, remember domain is left to right on the x-axis, right? On the left right here, is there a graph? No, right? There's no graph. What about negative one? No. Where does the graph start? On the x-axis, at zero. So this graph starts at zero. My domain is gonna start at zero. So zero for both notations. And then where does it stop on the right? So I'm gonna um, move to the right, zoom out, Zoom out, I'm zooming out, it's still going 30, 40, 50, 150, 200. I'm still moving to the right, it's still moving, and it's going on forever. So what's the number forever on the right-hand side? It is infinity. So for interval notation and for set notation. All right, now we need to talk about uh, brackets and parentheses or less than and equal to, right? So let's talk about zero. Does it include the number zero? So if I zoom in to zero, right here is the graph right there yes it is so because the graph is right there we're going to close it because it includes it now how do i show inclusive in this other notation less than or equal to because it includes the number zero all right then we need an x right here what about the number infinity well we've talked about this extensively that does not include so it needs to be a parenthesis or over here it needs to not include it Okay, so that's how you do it in the two different notations. All right, I'm going to do one more and then you do the last two. Okay, so let me do, I'll do the quadratic one. All right, so again, what's the domain? So I'm not going to type it in, I'm just going to use it from here. If you look on the left, right, this graph keeps going like this forever. It's moving very slowly this on the, for the left-hand side, but it's still going towards the left. So if you look at this like this. It just moves very slowly to the left, but it's still moving to the left, which means it's still going to the left forever. So it's negative infinity. All right, so negative infinity for both notations. And then on the right, it's doing the same thing, only it's moving to the right, right? It's moving to the right very slowly, but it's moving this way. So that's going to eventually go to infinity. All right, infinity in both notations. All right, doesn't include because it's infinity is not a number. Negative infinity is not a number. So parentheses. And then here, doesn't include no equal to. All right, so go ahead and practice the last two, and I'll double check you. Let's practice domain.